Okay, this is uh, another clip of my crystal radio. Uh, this is the coil and capacitors there. And down here's two diodes. One there, one in there. And I finally got it to run this um, clock. You can see the clock's running. And it's been going for oh, about 15 minutes now. And uh, yeah, it's been going non stop, so it seems to be, seems like it's going to keep going okay. And I'll show you underneath. Here's the, that's the output. And it goes up under there. Just a cheap um, clock movement. Uh, it's not a very good one either, that's why I'm not using it. But finally got it to work through the radio. And the radio's got a small capacitor there. 10 microfarad 50 volt capacitor as well. And um, the antenna, that's the antenna, it hasn't got any capacitor at all at the moment, but usually I do use one. Um, usually I use this one that I made, or I use uh, one of these small ones. But you know, you just experiment and find what's best. But today, I'm getting away without a capacitor and I've got the clock running. So, what I'm going to do, I also bought a new multimeter too, a um, true RMS one. And it helps out a bit. And here's the diagram. That's exactly the way I've got it set. So the plates, capacitor, it's the same as those. And the coil, you can see there, primary and secondary. here. That's the capacitor I usually use but today I'm not using it. Um, here's the two diodes. So if I can get that all in one shot. Main drawing. And here's what I use for um, that other capacitor I showed you. So there it is, a bit of mechanical motion from a crystal radio. I'll just go underneath again.
in the end, see now. And I've just got it going up here and it goes across. It goes up there and straight across. Over to the tree down the back. And I've got a got a mast in that tree there. So yeah, I was quite happy with that. And the station that I'm getting most of the power from is um, 774 um, kilohertz. So um, that's the Australian Broadcasting Commission. Thanks to them, my clock works. <laughs> oh, and here's, yeah, just if you didn't see that again. That's the size of the plates I use in my capacitor and the distances is about those ones are about one millimeter a bit less than one millimeter and they're about four millimeters and this side is joined together as you can see here joined together. So that should be pretty clear for anyone who wants to try it out. I'd be interested to see what sort of results anyone else gets. <laughs>